This is Chris Kell with your Core Complete Dead Bug Circuit Example. Now with the dead bug, we're going to choose three exercises. All right, I'm going to ask you to perform an exercise involving movement of the arms, an exercise involving movement of the legs, and finishing up with a combination movement of both the arms and the legs. The reason we do this, as opposed to picking maybe three exercises just involving the arms or maybe, or maybe the legs, is the distribution of fatigue. If I were only doing the legs, I'm going to start to feel it in my legs and only, and that's going to lessen the contribution of the core musculature. So with that said, uh, we want to perform one exercise from each category. Okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start on my back. Alright, my first exercise is going to be simply uh, lowering down behind me here, hand pullovers. Alright? You can also hold a set of weights to increase the difficulty here, but I'm moving slowly. I'm keeping my abs tight throughout this exercise. Okay, and this can be performed either for reps, for time, or in an interval format. From here, I'm going into toe taps. So I'm just tapping down in front of me, maintaining my abdominal brace, keeping my abs tight. Again, in any of the formats described. Okay, and we're going to finish up with just a full dead bug here, pausing at the top of each position here, adding a little bit of difficulty for time or reps. All right, with that said, we can also vary these things. So maybe instead of alternating with the, uh, the toe taps, I do one side at a time, you know, and uh, maybe I, I could move in different directions with my arms for the pullover, um, thus adding, you know, different or adding variety to each workout while maintaining that exercise. So that is your dead bug instruction. Moving on to the next exercise.